And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We start off add one to nine, going e4, Levi countering with e5. If uh, if this game does come down to a draw, uh, keep in mind um, that uh, this will go down to average accuracy rating, uh, which uh, add after his first match is leading in, uh, so he would have a uh, he would have a distinct advantage um, to move on in the tournament. Uh, I believe that's a that's a center that's center game accepted. So e4, e5, d4, and then e takes on d4. Um, black or uh, white should take back here with the queen, or should bring out with the knight here. Um, could also go uh, c3 here. Um, really, any of these moves are okay. Uh, he takes with the queen. Um, so this is a very sharp position, uh, one that both players should be very aware of. Uh, having the queen already out in the middle of the board here uh, can be very risky. Uh, if, uh, if he goes, say, uh, knight c6 here, attacking the queen, uh, it can force the queen to move. And you can basically... Uh, just chase the queen around if uh, if you play your cards right here. Um, he instead plays c6, uh, and he just drops the queen back. Uh, pushes f6. All right, uh, so... Lots of pawn moves, um, not a lot of substance coming from Levi so far, uh, and Ad brings out his uh, his knight uh, to f3. Levi pushing another pawn, and it's like a really, really, really screwed up uh, Sicilian defense, I guess. I don't really even know how to describe describe this position right now. Uh, after after c4. Um, uh, Levi brings knight to e7. Uh, I want to make uh, aware here that white's position is very open right now, so you need to be very careful. Um, he should probably develop his, his bishop out uh, to think about castle and get behind this pawn wall. Uh, knight c6 played from Levi. Uh, probably thinking about attacking uh, somewhere like here, uh, maybe here, um, and trying to get in... Uh, all right, so he does. Uh, he pushes f4. So we're getting more pawns out into the center of the board by uh, by add uh, d6 now from Levi. Uh, this I don't like this pawn structure too much from from add, but I guess we'll see what happens here. Um, he does kind of have a little pawn wall that he could potentially get behind. I'd like to see him uh, bring. Okay, he pushes uh, he pushes his knight out to b3. I would like to see him uh, develop this uh, bishop here to e2 so that he can castle um, uh, because he does, you know, this happens, uh, you know, you move the queen and then you have a fork. So, um, ooh, uh, yeah, he just, he just gave up a pawn there for free. Um, and now this, uh, despite the fact there are doubled pawns here, uh, both weak and another weak pawn here on H, uh, this is a winning position for black right now. Um, he really should play, he really should play this. Um, he does not. He instead, uh, takes the pawn back, uh, with the bishop, but this is, this is a better position for black right now. Look at how, look at how open, look at how open the center of the board is for, uh, in white's back line. Just, like, keep this in mind. His king is wide open right now. You know, you make a couple of moves here. Uh, potentially, I like... Okay, that works too. So, attacking here, uh, taking the knight and attacking the bishop. Drops the bishop back. And now... Now, you know, you can go a5. You can go h5. Um, I would... I think... Uh, oh, no. You just hung your... You just hung your knight, dude. You just hung your knight... All right, uh, so white is now winning solidly. <laughs> and he pushes b6. Um, I guess neither player is planning on castling at all this game because they have ruined, they have completely ruined their uh, their pawn, pawn structures uh, 
on each side of the board here. Um, just something else. Something else entirely. I'd like to see that potentially uh, knight to b4. Um, although uh, bishop to e6, uh, bishop to e6 would actually be the best move here. Um, bringing your bishop into the center of the board, kind of starting to control these uh, um, these there. Rook, taking the rook out to uh, to g8 is a fine move as well. Uh, this is a weak uh, this is a weak pawn here. Um, now. Uh, I would take here. I would take here with the bishop and try to bait the queen. Taking here with the bishop attacks the queen. If the queen takes back, you take with the rook. So let's see what Levi does. Um, not uh, after his after after his performance on Friday. Not certain that he would see something like that. Uh, he does not. He instead plays uh, bishop e3, which I had suggested last move. Um, h3. You should go h3. Protect this pawn. Like I said, if you go here, this is a uh, this is a scary situation for for white. Um, so you should probably push this pawn. Uh, get some extra protection for it. Um, dropping the bishop back to e2 would would do the same thing here. Uh, just protect protect this pawn here on g4. This is this is the most important uh, spot on the board right now. So keep this in mind. He uh, instead elects not to uh, protect it at all. Um, come on, Levi. Come on, Levi. See it. Attack that queen. Uh, elects to uh, protect his own pawn here on uh, on f6 with uh, with the rook bringing up to uh, to g6. Again, drops his knight back here. Uh, th this continues to be this continues to be the best move here. Um, it's not as good as it was two or three turns ago. So keep that in mind. Um, the position now it this allows the queen to escape here this way instead of being stuck here uh potentially moving to d2 on that square um come on all right he wants to attack this pawn i guess i guess that's his plan And also, this uh, this also screws this up now. You, you can't do that now. Um, that would just be blundering your bishop. So, uh, knight to a3. Um, okay. Takes the pawn. Um, knight to f3, great move here from, uh, uh, from Ad. Um, Attacking this, uh, attacking this square, um, also protects the queen uh, if this is taken here. All right, you you can't take this. You, you realize this, right? You can't take this. There's not really a point to attacking it. I I would have just dropped it. I would have just dropped it back. I would have dropped it back to to h6. What? That's a free bishop. That is a free bishop. Rook takes on d3. Uh, he, yep, he finds it. And now... Now black solidly winning. After that huge blunder there. Now here's a cool idea that... Ooh, okay. Uh... You need to you need to get this night this uh, this work probably get it out. Um, now what you could do, okay, yep that works. Um, yep, get the rook out of there. Uh, good move there from Levi. Now now uh, now Ad has to figure out here uh, what is his plan of attack. Um, does he have an attack? 
it doesn't really seem like he has anything great here. His bishop is blocked in by the knight in the pawn. His rook blocked in. Uh, he elects to take there, but the queen can take back. Uh... Come on, come on, Levi, take the rook. Take the rook, you know you want to. He does. All right. Black solidly winning here. This is this looks very, very similar to what we saw uh, saw in the first 20 moves or so of uh, 20 to 30 moves of uh, the game on Friday. So now black solidly winning. White needs to pull something out. Um, get this queen. Get this queen out here. Start to attack. You know, get get something moving. Oh no, dude. Uh, uh, that's check, that's check, um, don't move your king back, move, yep, d3, good move here, um, if he moves it back, yeah, open this bishop up, uh, you know, try to get this queen into play if possible, oh, sorry, not that, uh, not that square, um, Brings his knight in to protect instead. Uh, don't take back. Okay, he elects to push the pawn here. Um, he pushes back uh, with a4. Uh, knight to e5 uh, looks real good here. Um, putting pressure, putting pressure on both sides of the king. Um, if he, if he, he can't trade off because this, uh, this knight. Is, uh, is pinned to the king. Um, okay, he takes, uh, he takes the pawn with the bishop here. Uh, this piece is pinned right now, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'd like to see him take it with the bishop next turn, uh, attack the queen, potentially. Yeah, definitely, definitely, that's the move. And Levi does see it. Levi does see it here. All right, this queen, this queen's got to move. Uh, queen G one. Uh, th this is this is a mating pattern. Queen G one is the best move. Queen E one is okay as well. Um, I would say bring the queen in. Uh, bring the bishop down and over. Get your pieces into it. Um, actually, I wouldn't do this because if the king moves, then. And this is exactly why the king moves, and now the bishop is now opened up to attack the queen. Um, so be very, be very, very careful here, um, Levi, because you do not want to blunder your queen in this situation. That would be tragic. He blocks with the queen. I think that might be the best move here. Um, he just trades him off. Okay. Um, either one of those. Uh, I would... Yep. All right. That's a check. Discovered check. Very nice. Um, I would think about bringing this, uh, this bishop in here. Um, trade off the bishops. Potentially. All right, so now he's attacking the back line, uh, theoretically pinning this bishop uh, to the rook. Um, so now, if he brings uh, if he brings this bishop in, that uh, that bishop is dead to rights. So he can't take there without losing the rook. Um, although, do keep in mind that this uh, uh, this knight is protecting this rook as well. Um, takes with the pawn. Um, if anything, I would have taken with the other pawn. Now you have a weak pawn here, and you have two potential attackers here um, uh, with white. Uh, this is uh, this is a game. We both players still have over five minutes on the clock. Uh, move thirty-three there. Um, now do you? Tr 
I would say I would say put the king in check here. Put the king in check, force the king to move, and then make a decision what you want to do with your rook. Um, you can also move the rook here uh, or trade it off. Um, he takes with the bishop. Uh, okay, um, so now uh, we have two bishops, a knight and a rook, to a uh, knight and a bishop. Um, so uh, solidly, solidly winning for black uh, in this situation. Uh, let's uh, let's take a let's take a look at uh, at Levi's stream. Uh, see what he might be thinking right now uh, to try to finish off this game. <laughs> the heck could you be trying to do with that? Uh, that uh, you can't hit anything right now with that. Uh. Well, do I want to do a bishop for your knight? I might. Oh, he can get this knight! Oh, the pawn's protecting it. Because he'll be in check if you want to move that knight out of the way. Now your king can't even protect that knight. Why? Why is a good question indeed. Uh, with that king move, uh, hangs his knight, uh, taken there by Levi. Levi in complete control of this match right now. Complete and utter control. Um, Ad's got to Ad's got to make some uh, Ad's got to make some good moves here. Uh, drops his king back to B one. Um, all right, Levi needs to be careful not to stalemate. Um, as long as this bishop stays on the board, it's unlikely that will happen. Um, so, but keep this in, keep this in mind, uh, potentially, uh, bring the bishop up here, uh, attack here, bring this rook into play. You still haven't moved either of these pieces. You can castle. Get the rook into into a better position here. You, actually, bringing the rook probably here to c8, and then finding a way to get the uh, get the knight out of the way is probably better. Ooh, knight a3 check. Take takes with the pawn. Be very careful here. Do not stalemate. Do not stalemate if you're Levi. Ca castling is the best move here. Castling is the best move. Now keep this in mind. These squares. Uh, these squares are blocked for the king right now. Those those four squares. So, right there. Um, these pieces, these two pawns can't move. These are only king moves allowed right now for for uh, for Adrian. Uh, probably probably do something like this, uh, or or this. Attack the knight uh, at this point. Uh, drops his king back. I would bring I would bring the rook rook down. Um, you could also push the pawn here. Uh, brings his bishop in. Uh, I think his idea is to uh, take the pawn here. Put him in check uh, in this situation. All right. Just want to make sure that you have open squares that he can go to. So. Um, so these these squares these squares are open right now, so uh, you can't you can't put him in check on this turn. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna try to promote he's gonna try to promote on H. So these are these are the king's available spaces here. Not even that one, just these two. He needs to be super careful if this is so if he pushes here goes back down pushes back up pushes back down pushes that's checkmate so if he just pushes this pawn i believe that's just straight up checkmate and he moves his he moves his uh he moves his knight um all right so these squares are blocked for the king Okay, he brings his he brings his rook in. Uh, king can move to a1 or a2. Uh, rook to c2 check. He pushes the pawn. Okay. So these three squares are all still open. And 
and Rook, Rook is checkmate. Rook is checkmate. It's protected by the bishop. Queen b1, also checkmate. These two moves are checkmate, Levi. You've got four minutes. You can find it. No! Are you kidding me? All you had to do was check him. All you had to do was check him.